my name is Heather and you have my promise that my programs will always be fun, interactive, high energy, and engaging. I love energy. Positive energy. Give me three. Turn to your neighbor and say, buckle up, we're going for a ride. My new keynote, Power Through, is all about being resilient. Everyone faces challenges and tough times, but they don't need to break us. I recently made a difficult decision to peel back some personal layers and share a part of my childhood that could have defined me, for better or worse. Growing up, my dad was an alcoholic. He was emotionally and physically abusive. However, I was scared to share this part of my life because I was scared to be vulnerable, but also because I worried about disrespecting my dad's memory. My hope is that my voice, my story can help that kid in the audience who may go home every day to their own tragic situation. I don't want them to feel broken, and I want them to know that they are the author of their own story. Now, I know it might seem like I had the perfect dad or the ideal childhood. I didn't. I mean, my dad was my hero, but my dad was also an alcoholic and the worst kind. He was a mean drunk. When my dad would get drunk, he'd often beat on my mom and us kids. I remember coming home from school, going through the front door, thinking to myself, I wonder what dad I'm going to get today, my fun dad or my drunk and angry dad. My childhood easily could have been my own butt. In life I knew though that I did not want to live like I was broken because I wasn't I am not what happened to me I am what I choose to become we all have scars they're there to remind us of what we've made it through but they are scars they are not tattoos they do not need to define us nor do they need to leave a permanent stain on our soul they are there to remind us that we are not broken when life puts you in tough situations don't say to yourself why me but rather say try me your butt might be, but I'm not strong enough, pretty enough, smart enough, confident enough, popular enough. Whatever your butt is, you got to get out of your own butt's way and understand that you are enough. But when life gets tougher, you get stronger. <laughs> Folks, when you are faced with disappointment, loss, tragedy find the courage to power through one small crack does not mean that you are broken it means you were put to the test and you didn't fall apart so put yourself out there take a risk get outside of your zone and get out of your own butt's way it's about steering down self-doubt it's about not being afraid to take a risk. And it's about getting out of your own butt's way. And who cares if you don't have the skill set? Just have the will set. I firmly believe we as a society look at failing all wrong. Failing can be exciting because it's an opportunity a second chance to apply what you've learned. Because when you know better, you do better. Is the thought of putting yourself out there so overwhelming that sometimes you don't even want to try?
Why is it that when we hear the word fail, we automatically have these negative thoughts? We need to see failing for what it is. It's an opportunity to learn and to grow. Fail. F-A-I-L. First attempt in learning. There is no success without first failing. 